video working on the S15. We're getting a bit closer now, definitely on all the final button up jobs. Kind of to the point where there's not a lot to really string a video together, but I figure I've come this far, let's keep going to the end. Just went and dropped off the intercooler pipes and the catch cantil powder coaters. So hopefully by the end of the video we'll have them back. They're going satin black, should look nice, should look a bit cleaner. And just had a delivery from Amiyama. So we've got the center console, the boot, indicator stalk. Probably just put the center console and the boot in at the moment. Maybe the indicator. Also got the same delivery. I got the rear window seal and I got the front window seal. But we'll get this in, so I'll screw the switches onto the back of this first. Set up a nice work pad just so I don't damage it. Looks good, looks fresh. Already pulled, there was a 5 speed sticker on the side. Just pulled that off before it got too tacky. Even though it is 5 speed, the actual boots around says 6 speed on it as well. So it just ends up with a bit of a controversy of two different things. So I'll just keep it as simple as I can. Alright, let's get this bugger in. Um, just going to move these plugs. Up to the top hole. She's going to be able to plug them in nice and easy at a distance. Well, probably not quite that far, but oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Where's a little light go? It's a real question. There he is. Let's see if I can get him in one handed. Looks like he might earth out from that. Yep. There we are. Not bad, one handed. Pretty ugly bit of loom. It's alright, you don't see it. Only everyone that watches this will know that loom's there. That tidies it up a bit, like that nasty scratch over there. Really wish I could replace that blow panel, but can't find one. Didn't look that hard. Just gonna flick those two screws in there off camera, mainly because I need both hands to just do a screw. And then we'll chuck the boot on. All right, now it's time for the boot. I'm hoping, because it's an S15 boot, and it's built for the reverse lockout, we can get it over the top of the shifter as I can't pull that knob off. Alright, nice new leather, little dome on the front, that's what we want. Bit of insulation under there. How good are new Nissan parts? Slide her over. Ooh -wee. Straight into the hole. back and just like that's in six speed there five speed there dome on the back go in your bugger come on get in the hole yes there we are Can't even do the side to side jiggle with the shifter. But yep, that's what she all looks like complete. Kind of forgot where everything lived to be honest. But it looks good. Really wish I had a new sender console now to go with that as well. Sender console, lower dash trim, lower dash trim on this side. But gotta draw the line somewhere. Can't keep spending money for no reason. Might just quickly flick that indicator in now as well. That way I can get the trim on there. Complete as much as possible. Alright, we've got the old one, it's going glossy, stuff's worn out in the end. Then we've got the new one, hard to see on camera, but it's nice and satin. 
really makes me think I need to replace the wiper one as well but it's okay probably need a new clamshell for around here it's a bit worn but that's all on there now nice nissing key in there just the small stuff now yeah just like having that surround in there to be honest but that's okay on to the next job now I'm like I'm a little bit time poor while I'm at work so I've kind of just got into stuff but we have got the catch can back from powder coating and it is fitted turns out the way Raceworks etched the writing on the top not some not the same on all of them so I had to chuck a little bit of Loctite on one of them just as it's not done up completely just so they sit square yeah, but yeah everything's on lines from the rocker covers on drains on down there the breather to the blocks down there runs down next up she's going to be securing all this wiring on this side tidying it up also got the intercooler pipes done so I've chucked the air temp sensor in that one so obviously got to chuck all the clamps and stuff on got this line over here get a nice intake pipe there intake on actually secured the coolant reservoir made up a line due to tight space being very tight underneath the intercooler pipe has to run over it unfortunately but still looks tidy enough and I've chucked some braided sheaf over the rubber just to make it all match this can get bolted down after I set the timing everything looks like it needs a good clean and I've just been over talking to Corey about my parts and he has got them all proof for paint so hopefully we'll have them done at the end of this video as well got the windows going in tomorrow got the seals sitting there um, but yeah really not sure what else interior is all looking pretty smack really on the arse end of buttoning up jobs now I'm just trying to work out what's next guess I just have to work through my list and keep attacking things this is that moment when I realised I'm meant to be filming for YouTube but I haven't been doing it at all so give you a bit of an update what's been happening since the last clip to now everything's been painted the wing mirror is being painted first along with the door card so she's in there for good now also rear pods attached to the bumper that has been modified to remove the ADM bent even though this is a JDM car it had an ADM rear bumper on it assume a rear hit at some point so that is on and painted it's a little dump tip down there and up to the spoilers it's painted, fitted so origin boot wing quite hard to see in the slide in the garage and origin roof wing Let's see if I can get a good clip of them I'll finish this video by having the car outside so you can actually have a bit of a walk around moment front we've also got the Rio in there so that's all bolted in along with the intercooler just got the garage door down and it's dark out want some light seeing as the only light is above me so yeah got the filter on got the nice G ready badge on the side and all the intercooler pipes are all mounted all tight so it's good still gonna screw that down do that very shortly just gonna chuck the rubber along the top of the car now and find I think it's only one mounting bolt really wish I'd check that before I put it on but I think it's just one in the middle find that check why this isn't seating well over in this corner oh, it looks like it's got a clip to go into that off camera looks like I need both hands but yeah get that to clip in check the other side doesn't have a clip as well find the screw find the rubber to go across there at least that'll be done and then next up will be the power steer pump so I just have to unbolt that probably just put it down to a jack and just power it up once power it up I'll be able to bleed it Get it feeling not too bad. Fill it up as much as I can with LDS, LDAS, and have it good to go. Radiator is pretty full. 
once it's running, the car's running, I will top that up and give it a proper bleed off. Moment the cap can stay on there so I don't lose it. But yeah, we're at a point where we're nearly complete. With the next video will be the car driving. So at the moment, just do all the final up bits in this car in this one. Moving over here. Got the front bumper complete, so mesh screwed in this side. The front ones are actually sicker flexed in. Nothing in the middle as the intercooler's there. Yeah, same on that side. But yeah, good to see the number plates back attached. And it's good to see it looking like a car again. Alright. So time for one of those two birds one stone sort of situations. We're gonna flip the car on, we're gonna bleed the power steering, we're gonna bleed the radiator. Let's do this. See how this cold start is today. Not too bad, a little bit of accelerator. There we are. Now steer pump on. Start to see the level go down. So what I'm going to do is top it up with this LDAS. See the line in there, just. Probably can barely hear me. And then just got the radiator popping out. I'll chuck the big puddle on there now as well. We'll get that to bleed up while I do the power steering. To say I've been filming well, no, can't say that. But what I can say is the car's been turned around, which means it is all been washed. No more layer of grime all over it. It's nice. Next up, we'll just be setting the ride height, making sure it's even. So we got about a finger on the front. The back's actually good. Actually, no, we might be right on the front. Might not have to adjust anything. Definitely, we'll need a wheel alignment. But yeah, front bumper is on, that wasn't on just before, took a bit of a fight to get that on, being fiberglass it doesn't quite sit perfect, got a little bit of a gap on each side like that, got one chip will touch up, nearly ready for its maiden voyage. Got a fire extinguisher in the back seat in case I forget, haven't mounted that yet, the inside needs a hell of a vacuum. Especially after having the windows fitted. Um, but yeah, let me get up to the front. Don't mind me for a second. It's a bit warm from idling and moving in and out. But yeah, it is all complete. Everything is done really. Drilled a couple of new holes, chucked a couple of plastic grommets in there just to hold the bumper perfect. Um, but yeah, feeling pretty good about it now. Just a couple of little tidy up jobs, get all the small stuff done. Um, yeah, I guess then we take it for a test drive and work out what's next, what the issues are, and what else I have to fix. Right, and I've also got another boss kit coming for the steering wheel to allow for the clock spring so when that gets here I'll chuck that one in. One part I do have I'm unsure actually got this through GK Tech chuck it on it is one of those air diverters haven't tried it on yet don't know if I'm going to run it And looking at that, I'm not going to run it. Actually, looks more messy having it in place. And to be quite honest, it doesn't sit very well. But yeah, anyone wants that air to cheap, give me a message. We can have it. Uh, but yeah, I won't be running it. I'd rather just run it so you can see everything under there. As it seems a bit cluttered, might end up making my own or get one of the garage defend ones that covers the whole lot. Anyway, I'll end this video here. As you can see, she's all complete.